exclusively here in Jaywick. My friend John came here from Pittsburgh, from Cologne in Germany. He's a former US Marine Corps Army veteran for the US Army. Very good friend of mine for many years. And he came to Jaywick October for a few weeks, then went back to Germany, then came back here in December. And John's been here for about five weeks now. In that, in that short time, we have managed to find John his own accommodation. So he is now an official resident of Jaywick. And the things we can achieve by making films and talking to each other are just beyond belief. So it's great thanks from me to all of you lovely people that have helped me help John. Because John is a great man and you're great people for helping us. So a big thank you to each and every one of you who believed in me and who believes in John. Because you are rare and you truly care. So thank you so much from the bottom of my heart to all of you. Thank you for helping John find his permanent accommodation. And thank you to Ashley and to Dizzy and to Chris and to Patricia and to all of the beautiful people that brought us things. We love you. Amen. And thank you to JJ who helped me out. Thank you, JJ. And we have all come together, people from all different parts of the world, who some who work here, some who work there. Some are older, some are younger, some are male, some are female. But we all came together when it came to helping someone. And you are amazing people. So from me to you, thank you. And let me hand you over to John, because John's going to give us an exclusive of what it's like to be in his own house, because he slept rough for a few months here and there. So we're going to get an exclusive of how it feels. Because remember, John is a veteran, a US Marine Corps veteran, and we've got our utmost respect for people that serve their country. So shine on to John. John, tell us all about it. How does it feel to have your own place? John. Uh, wonderful. Uh, just like I said earlier, moved or slept in the house last night. I gave him a little bit of money on it and I'll try to work out a better situation for him by the first. Uh, and uh, I actually adore the idea that it was so comfortable here, uh, sleeping on the side of the house. It was a very comfortable situation, even when I was not in the house, sleeping on the side and also JJ and Mary's help the week before that and a few weeks when I first, a week when I first got here and the week before I moved into the, the poor shed. So you basically, you've, you, 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 you camped rough to get what you wanted. You wanted yes, to be in Jaywick. Well done, he persevered. That is army I mean, style. The man persevered to get a place. And he done it all very, himself very with well. help from you guys through watching my films. And so it's it true, it shows that we can make a difference. We can change people's lives. And I'm doing it right now and you're helping me. So you should be all very proud of yourselves. Everyone that has helped me make this a reality. Because without you, I couldn't have done it. But I knew there's some good people out there. And I know there's some people that really care. So you people are amazing. And once again, from the bottom of my heart, shine on, you beautiful people. What you've done has made a difference. And you are just top people. You're amazing. John, what do you think about all these people that have helped us? Excellent. Everybody here has been wonderful. I wouldn't have uh, anything at all without the wonderful people like Paul and everyone else helping me out and uh, giving me things. Quite sweet. Four o'clock, cup of coffee. Thank you. Everybody is wonderful. Danny helping me out with cigarettes for a good deal. And uh, Gemma, I appreciate all your help too. And especially Mr. Claudia here, helping me so, 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 so very much. And Ashley in the warm reception there, you know, even on limited means. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. We gave you an exclusive. John has found his own home. Thank you to Ashley and to Dizzy for helping us make Danielle. this happen. And to all of you beautiful people, if I've missed anyone's Thank name you, out, Sammy it's just because there's so Sammy. many of you, but you know who you are. And I'm truly grateful to everybody that helped John and helped me. And we've got other people to help and we've got other things to achieve. This is and not the end of the story. Man. Whenever I see something that needs to and be addressed, something that needs to be filmed, I will film it. And I don't care what people say because we need to make a difference. So we're going to keep doing this because we never look down on someone unless we're helping them up. It was actually a very warm and adequate situation the whole time I was in Cologne, too. All of Gabrielle's friends were very nice to me in Cologne. Uh, I think uh, some of the circumstances were frightening and frightening to people. Frightening and frightening to people, especially with limited response, and then uh, backflaming and uh, terrible fear of how this whole situation would turn out uh, may have caused a little bit... Uh, 
a friction with me and Gabrielle in her friendship circle when they were generally warm and receiving is out of me the whole time there in Cologne uh, and uh, just uh, being frightened and intimidated before I say too much even if it's just uh, you know unwanted phone calls to Gabrielle not from me because I could hardly ever get in contact with her even through Facebook while others uh, appearing to know more and having no knowledge the first day being drugged, their conversations being drug out and drug out and drug out and drug on and on and on until uh, it was almost too tedious for Gabrielle. Do you, remember, do you remember our friend Patricia that brought you some clothes? Yes. She brought you the New York jumper. Yes. And you're wearing it now. Would you like to say thank you to Patricia for yes, it? Thank you, Patricia. Do you want to show it to her? Take your coat off and show it to her? Yes. And give her a proper thank you? Yes, thank you for the New York 72 sweater, Patricia. Show it to us. And the other Patricia at the church. It's very nice. For being warm and friendly. And uh, Elizabeth Stam and all Gabrielle's friends are very warm and wonderful too. Except for the situation, like I said, without mentioning Colin or the NSA, just built a tourist in the National Police there in Pittsburgh. Uh, and a PSI and everybody thinking, well, if this was handled properly, why was there no response? And I mean, the immediate uh, <laughs> recentering of the <laughs> argument around me, like I may have some blame in any of it at all, uh, just because of the lack of response or slow response from anyone and the secrecy and hiding and the criminal activity of some of the police, including the state police, not just the Monaco police from Pennsylvania. Very frightening, intimidating situation for Gabriella. Uh, you know, very gentle and frail woman to be up in the middle of a situation where the real truth is, I mean, that police would take the fucking head in, you know what I mean? And timid little Gabrielle's afraid of the whole situation, even the fake guy. It is an exclusive. John has found his own home. He has a roof over his head. He has a home in Jaywick. Thank you to everybody for helping us. And from me and John, shine on. Thank you. Sign on, all you thugs in Monaco. <laughs> Before I have to bring Gabrielle up and just say it's a frightening circle. It's hard to end such a great film, isn't it? Hard mm -hmm. to end. Hard to end. Yes, it is. Well, right thank you from all of us to you. Shine on. I'm going to make some more films with John to see how he's getting on with Jaywick Life, yeah? Yes. Good. Shine yes. on, everybody. Thanks for your help, yeah? And I also had the opportunity to wash my hair yesterday in the sink in the bathroom in my new home in the water. Running water in a stove that works. <laughs>